In this video, we'll discuss lymphangiectasia and Manicherrier's disease. GI protein loss may be due to two causes, mucosal cell abnormalities or number two, lymphatic abnormalities. Manicherrier's disease is in the mucosal cell abnormalities and it's a non-ulcerated mucosa where there is defect in the permeability that causes GI protein loss. The lymphatic abnormalities causing GI protein loss, protein losing enteropathy. It may be primary or secondary, congenital or acquired. Primary lymphatic disease includes the lymphangiectasia. Lymphangiectasia is due to the defect in the lymphatics. So what happens in Manitreus disease? In Manitreus disease, there is hypertrophy of the gastric mucosa in the body and fundus of the stomach, leading to large tortuous gastric mucosal folds. And the important features of Manitreus disease are number one, Massive gastric folds have knobby, lobulated, cerebriform surfaces. Number two, the mucus cells are enlarged and release too much mucus, causing protein loss. So, enlarged mucus cells with excess mucus secretion causing protein loss in the stomach. And number three, there is little or no acid production in mantria disease, that's hypochlorhydria or achlorhydria. The microscopy of the menstrual disease, number one, foveolar hyperplasia of the surface mucus cell. Number two, diffuse or patchy glandular atrophy and hypoplasia of parietal and chief cells. But the pit of the gastric glands are elongated with a cork screw-like appearance. So in the microscopic feature, there is hyperplasia of the mucus cells and atrophy of the parietal and chief cell, parietal cells producing a HCL. There is increased tumor growth factor alpha in menstrual disease and the serum gastrin level is within normal levels despite achlorhydria. Associated infections with menstrual disease are cytomegalovirus in children and H. pylori infections in adults. And what's the complication of menstrual disease? Gastric adenocarcinoma. Investigation. Number one, chromium labeled albumin test reveals increased GI protein loss. Number two, 24 hour pH monitoring reveals hypochlorhydria or achlorhydria. Serum gastrin is within normal limits. Number four, barium meal imaging detects large folds of stomach. And number five, endoscopy with deep mucosal biopsy and cytology is required to establish the diagnosis. Differential diagnosis. Solinger Ellison syndrome, sarcoidosis, tumors, infections, for example, CMV, histoplasmosis, and syphilis. Treatment of menstrual disease, medical or surgical. Medical treatment, anticholinergic agent, what do they do? They decrease protein loss. Number two, proton pump inhibitors and H2 receptor antagonists, anti ulcer drugs, and prednisolone and cetoximab. Cetoximab is a monoclonal antibody against epidermal growth factor receptors. Number five, prostaglandins, and number six, a high protein diet is given. And surgical treatment is severe disease requires total or subtotal gastrectomy. Now, lymphangiectasia. In lymphangiectasia, lymph vessels supplying the lining of the small intestine are blocked, leading to the lymph fluid leakage into the intestine, preventing fat and protein absorption that leads to malabsorption. Lymphatic obstruction causes chylomicron loss containing fat that leads to loss of fat in the stool. Investigation in lymphangiectasia Number 1. Endoscopic small bowel biopsy. What does it show? It shows marked dilatation and actesia of the mucosal and submucosal lymphatic vessels at the tip of villi. Number two, contrast lymphangiography. It's done by injecting contrast into the lymph vessel in the foot. Number three, barium studies may show thickened nodular mucosal folds that resemble stacked coins. Now what's Waldman disease? Waldman disease is a rare disease characterized by enlargement of the lymph vessels supplying the lamina propria of the small intestine. Diagnosis of protein losing enteropathy. Number one, peripheral edema. Number two, hypoalbuminemia with hypoglobulinemia together. Number three, increased protein and lipid loss 
in the stool. Number four, absence of renal or liver disease. Number five, lymphopenia. The distended lymphatics may cause lymphopenia. Now, treatment of the protein losing enteropathy. Number one, low fat and high protein diets. So, how low fat? Less than or about 25% of the normal fat intake. And which type of fat are given? Medium chain triglycerides. Why? Because medium chain triglycerides, they do not exit intestine via lymphatics. They exit the intestine via portal vein on their way to the liver. So, medium chain triglycerides, do not exit by lymphatic, instead by blood. Number two, I already told, high protein diet. And number three, vitamin and other supplements.